And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the long-awaited rematch. Will it be revenge or repeat? Please welcome, firstly, to the blue corner from Birmingham, Nicola K. We heard there the second meeting, Nicola Kay's walked to the ring by Nathan Bandon. She was the victor first time around. What a stage for a rematch. Nicola Kay! And now please welcome to the red corner from South East London, Amazing Grace! Well, you won't meet many in the Muay Thai community more liked and more popular than Grace Spicer. She's just one of the funniest, warmest characters that you'll meet outside of the ring. Had a little bit of a layoff last year. She's got herself back in terrific shape. And they fenced him at the way in yesterday. She looked in the best shape that seen her in for a long, long time and she'll be well up for this one. She certainly will be. The, this is obviously a rematch. Nicola Kays took the victory in the first fight and Grace really, really wants this. You can see she's come to fight. Not the amiable personality just put aside for a moment but she's enjoying this entrance, using the energy she's backed by. Kieran He's in for a busy night with Charlie Peters making the sixth event of his title later on this evening. Great Spicer in terrific shape. Revenge Grace Spicer! And this MTGB A-Class Muay Thai rules about to take place in the minus 52 and a half kilogram division and will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rematch, revenge or repeat. Introducing to you firstly fighting out of the blue corner, bringing an excellent record, 13 wins, two defeats, two draws. Representing NJB Gym in Birmingham, it's Nicola <laughs> And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, she brings an excellent record, 14 wins. Only four defeats, representing Double K Gym in South East London. It's Grace the Lioness Spicer! So five three minute rounds then. A class Muay Thai rules of 52 and a half kilos. The victor first time around was Nicola K. On the bottom left of your screen with the purple braids. In the top right of your screen with the white gloves. Grace Spicer looking for revenge. Got herself into terrific shape for this one. She's been working really hard. And it's a, a big stage for a rematch. It certainly is. This has fireworks all over it. It's brought the kick from Spicer just trying to catch the shot coming back at her. Nice straight one two then from Kate. Yeah, Kate's is tough. She's relentless and accurate. Spicer's going to have to be on, on form tonight. This 
see the strength there in the clinch. The referee Jesse Saunders just breaking them apart. Spicer is just yet to take the initiative and walk forward, just spins K onto the ropes. K then returns the favour, knee in the clinch. And the two exchanging two apiece, three now for Kate. Four now for Kate, good work. Yeah, Kays is out working, Spicer in the clinch here with her knees at this stage. As you said, this is where the hard work and the really energy sapping stuff takes place. Remember, five rounds of this. Yeah, it's quite a quick pace for uh, the opening round here of uh, a five-rounder. I think it's just because these girls both really want this. Kays to protect her win and show that it wasn't a fluke. And Spicer really feels that she could have done better. And she knows what she needs to do today to win. Nice. Stiff right hand from Spicer got through. Yeah, Nicola Kays' punches are really accurate, so Spicer landing them now. See the venom in their eyes. As you say, it's just intent and malice that's thrown with each shot. And while well, both must have confidence in their conditioning to be opening up with this kind of vigor at this stage of a five round contest with 25 seconds to go in round number one. And it's got more of a, a round three pace about it, this one. Yep, certainly has. You can see the strength in K's there. Just been a little more. Dominant in the clinch, hasn't she so far? With 10 seconds to go at the 0-2 in London. Spicy with the high kick there, just glanced off the glass. The two oh, going at each other to the bell. <laughs> what an opening round that was. Well, you can just see the importance. If you didn't know the context, I think you would know that there was a more riding on this than just a, a notch on the record sheet to these two girls. That's uh, Grace Spicer in your corner from Double K, Jim. She desperately wants to bring these scores level. A little left, short left hook there from Kays and then landing the body kick and then stopping her goal with a the jab there. She really steps in on her shots. What a great deal to Split them in terms of the hands, was there? But in the clinch, where Nicola Kay was just seconds. a little bit stronger, a little bit more dominant, landed a few more knees. Yeah, agreed. She just leans on uh, Spicer really well, pops those knees up the middle. I think she's just watching the replay herself on the big screen there, checking out her own work as we head into round two. There's that little short left hook, right body kick from uh, Kay's again. Oh, good work from Spicer, catching, trying to sweep, but again, strength from Kays. Uh, Kays taking the back there, good strong score in tie boxing. Knee into the kidneys. I think Kays is stronger in the clinch here, it's become apparent. I wonder if she'll try and take the fight there. Good stiff one too there from Kays, tries to double it up again, Spicer looking for the counter right hand has caught the lovely work. Again. Well, Kays is again in the clinch. Do you see that from Kays though where she just threw that body kick and then dropped her knee into the middle and oh, elbows, dropped her knee into the middle and held, held her there and then stepped back and threw the knee, that's a beautiful score. There's that one too. Spicer needs to mix this up. She needs to do something different for me. Kays comes forward again and though Spicer's trying to turn her, it's Kays who having the physical advantage. She's landed maybe four clean. Yeah, straight up the middle with that knee and again, good elbow from Spicer.
<laughs> Both girls are reddening all over their faces. It's turning into a bit of a war here. Nice high kick from Spicer, that's better from it. Yep. As you say, though, just whether or not they can maintain this kind of pace throughout the five rounds, if they can, credit to them, because it's been pretty relentless so far. Yeah, they are over our commentary position. <laughs> Jesse Saunders getting a little knee in the leg there. Sign of a good referee who's not afraid to get involved, get his body in the way of the, the fighters, so no stray shots can influence the fight. Good strong knees from Kays there. Kieran Kettle telling Spicer to keep her at the edge, push her to the ropes. I mean, she's got these really nice straight hands, isn't she? Every time mm. Spicer steps in, Kays is throwing a jab at that right hand. Yeah. Straight down the pipe and backing Spicer up, as you see there. It's often the simple stuff that wins fights, isn't it? And Kays is good at that. She throws the right hand, left body kick. She throws the jab, the right body kick. Or she throws a one-two down the middle. And everything she does is very precise, very accurate. It's going to take some beating. Yeah, we watched the replay here. There was a, there were the elbows over the top from Spicer, but again, if they're not cutting and showing effect, they're not scoring. They look lovely for the crowd, but they're not winning the fight. The stuff that's winning the fight is the solid stuff from K's for me, and the the big knees up the middle, taking the back, stuff like that. Right hand, left body kick, simple combinations, landing accurately with power. There you go again. Left it with a right body kick. Stepping in with the knees afterwards. Good at scoring, Case. Well, two just meet straight in the centre. Spicer ramming the right hand into the jaw of Nicola Case. For Lewis Spicer's face, she wants this. She's going to have to go through it because Case just is sent to the edge and power. Spice is going to have to try and wheel herself forward, which she's doing brilliantly now. Left kick to the body. This is better from Spicer now. As you say, Dave, in Muay Thai scoring, an important round, round number three. Very much. Look at these knees, all unanswered. Okay, he's put a lot into those first two rounds. And Spicer finds something now to turn the tide, sinks in a, a kick to the body. Hayes returns. The definition on the back and shoulders of Kays. She's strong and you can see in the clinch it's really apparent. The work rate's really good too. Spicer needs to work more in the clinch or get out of it. Good counter work from Kays, isn't it? Every time yeah. Spicer throws, just looking to be first and last in these exchanges. As you say, better counter work from Spicer. This is the first time where the spell is starting to walk forward and push Case back. A quick landing from Case, but not good effect. And that's a nice jab from Spicer. Starting to look for openings now. Yeah, this is better. You can see the grit in her face when she's throwing every shot. Nice body kick landed there as well. A minute to go in round number three, just under. Catches the. Body kick of Nicola Case now. Is her work just starting to slow? And is that starting to present 
small windows of opportunity for Gray Spicer. Put a lot into these opening three rounds, Nicola Kays. Was it a little too much too soon? Oh, stiff jab from Spicer. Spicer stopping her well on the jab, but not following with the kick. That was much better now. This is a really good finish to the round from Gray Spicer. 20 seconds to go in round number three. Just eats a, a jab. The two exchange hands. Oh, stiff up. Kick up top from Spicer. Just to the seconds. right hand. Really exciting finish to this third round. Just misses. Case does really well under pressure to hold her ground and just pick her shots well, conserve her energy. That was a good round. What a high tempo isn't even the word, is it? That was frantic from start to finish. And to think we've got another two to go. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see fights can be won and lost in round four. Very important round. And then five can be just protecting the win. Here we go into the replays. Good combination work early from Kays, but Spicer has got a bit between her teeth at the midpoint. Just willed herself forwards. Just for the first time, we saw Kays in little spots, just flustered and caught clean. Corners, 10 seconds. Really interesting one, this. What was a nice left hook from Kays, just walked Spicer onto it. Toe to toe stuff in round number three. An ultimate round then here at the O2. We welcome you wherever you're watching around the world. The fourth round between Nicola Kays, who's backed into the corner by Grace Spicer. Nice elbow coming forward. This is great work Oof. from that spinning elbow. Remember what I said about round four? <laughs> Grace wants this. It's the money round. Looking for the teep. Nicola Cage just perhaps starting to show the first signs of fatigue. Yeah, Nathan Benden and Mr. Peacock there in the corner just telling her, begging her to come forward, push Grace Spicer back. I dare I say it, Dave. Grace Spicer in round one just looks to be potentially outgunned but she's just brought, work, sort of worked her way back into this one methodically calmly and aggressively and now we've really got ourselves a fight spicer patient looking for an opening comes forward low kick then the right hand through the middle she's caught that time watch case she just watches the fight and reads it well conserving energy looking for the opening Waits for Spicer to make her move. And then count as well, every time. It's got to be said, Kays does counter really well. Fires back every time. Grace needs to get more aggressive, come forward. That's nice better. Work. This is good work from Spicer. Took land, he just catches the tee, jumps in with the right hand again. Backing Kays up, taking command of centre ring. The body kicks that are coming back from Kays, just lacking the sting and sharpness that they showed in the early rounds. Nathan Bendit is screaming her on. She's digging in the knee, good work from it. Yeah, Kay's showing dominance in the clinch there, pushing the girl against the ropes and then... She was dominant in the clinch early, wasn't she? Just yeah. There hasn't been so much clinch work in the last sort of three or four minutes of the contest. And that's been to Grace Spicer's benefit, really. It has, certainly. When Grace is on the outside and working harder, like now, she's doing better. But for me, Kay's is answering everything. By the crowd in full voice. There's the clinch again, favouring Kay's. She works hard, kneeing up the middle. Those knees are all finding the mark too. So moments to go in this penultimate round as Case comes forward. It's been 
A really, really back and forth round. Dominance in the clinch from Kay's her corner. Raise their arms and try and energize their fighter. Corey Spicer has grafted her way back into this one though. at some of the highlights from that round. Spicer there just catching the, the leg coming forward. Yeah, but she didn't go down and Kays had landed that body kick and that punch and then held her balance. So it's, it's looking good for Kays for me. I Gordon feel she's done really good. well to counter everything that um, Gray Spicer's had. She's conserved energy well when the pace of the fight has got heavy. Round five. I'd expect Kays to just uh, conserve energy again and score counter, but not waste too much energy. Spicer has to chase this for me. She's doing just that, isn't she? She knows. Nice counter body kick from Kays. Spicer pushing forward. That's what she needs to do more of. Field, Dave. She's got to try and stay away from the clinch, isn't she, Grace Spice, to give herself any chance? She does, but I feel she's losing on these kicking exchanges as well. I feel, I, I don't know what she has to do. She has to do something different, though. She kind of kicked well there. That was better from it. She's landed and got out of range, but the time she's staying in the pocket, as you say, she's just being counted. Nice time there from Spice, but again, Kay's just so strong in the clinch. Out kneeing. And kneeing around the back as well. Halfway through the round, this fifth and final. Okay, Kay's doing really well. That left hook to the body, knee to the, knee to the right side of the body. Oh, sorry, left side of the body with the right knee. Solid work. The two working away. Nicola Kays drives two knees into the midsection of Spicer as the final minute just ticks over. Now it's Spicer being backed up. She's working hard, digging in. She's just unable to push Kays back, tries to move laterally to give herself a little bit of space. And Kays knows she can get her into the clinch. Just put the final exclamation mark on, an excellent performance, and in they go. It's that same combination, stepping in with the left hook to the body, right knee. And Kays really doing well to shut the ring off from Spicer. She looks up at the clock, see how long's left. Stiff jab from Kays, the two exchange hands. Spice's corner calling for the body kick again, just evades the oncoming fire from Kays into the clinch they go for one final time in this Great fifth knee. round. Great knee round the back from Kays again. I've been impressed with her. No time for Spicer, oh, with a right hand, <laughs> just wobbled Kays right at the end there. Well, an excellent contest, it was a uh, hard fought fight. Absolutely, high pace was set from the first minute, uh, they pretty much didn't relinquish for the duration of the contest. Do you feel that Nicola Kays did enough to see this one clear? For me, yeah, I'm not judging it, but I, I feel that Kays took that. I think she fought intelligently. I think the look on both girls' faces will tell you. Um, but Kays just scored very intelligently there, and she's very strong. Good fighter. Well, we'll find out. 
momentarily as these highlights play out. Our master of ceremony, Peter Lowe, standing by. Referee Jesse Saunders brings the fighters to the centre. Ladies and gentlemen, a big result. round of applause for both of these ladies after five superb rounds of action. And at the end of those five completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner, fighting out of the blue corner, it's Nicola K. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Grace Spicer.